Hi everybody, welcome to the back to the van for another carpet cleaner review video. Um, this video is actually going to cover and, uh, some more about the IPS Pro sprayer. Yes, it's going to be another video about that sprayer. Um, basically, I had mentioned in uh, the review video that I was going to see if there was a way I could possibly uh, modify the sprayer to get it to be more reliable and to better suit my needs. And here's kind of what I came up with. And before we go into that, I will say this, that if you did purchase a sprayer and had the, the issues I did have, by all means, use the warranty on it, make a warranty claim, or if it's at all possible, if you're that um, disheartened with the tool or didn't feel it was, you know, good enough for whatever reason, see if you could send your money back. But I would strongly urge you to uh, deal with the company first before... <laughs> proceeding to do what I did so I'm not responsible if you try this and it doesn't work okay but to me even if I did send it back or they sent me the o-rings to replace it um, it still wouldn't solve some of the issues I didn't I had with the, the sprayer and I did not like mostly doing with the plastic fittings so anyways with that that being said I'm gonna kind of show you what I did what I came up with is I went down to uh, my local hardware store Got a piece of copper pipe, or not copper, but uh, brass pipe that one quarter inch that's threaded on both sides. And then uh, it seemed to match the threads inside the, the spray wand fairly decent. Um, it did not feel like I was cutting any new thread when I was going in. That's one one concern I had is if the, the threads were going to work out or not. But it didn't seem to really cut no thread. There was a little bit of a resistance there. Mostly probably because of the mass amounts of super glue that they had stuck on the threads of the original piece that was in there. Then for the jet, I just took it off my uh, inline sprayer that's currently not working. It is this jet is kind of a little bit worn, but for proof of concept to see if it wor how it worked, I threw it on there and it seems to work fine. And this really seems to solve a lot of issues as far as it doesn't leak here, doesn't leak up here. So that really, like I said, solves a lot of problems. Um, so far. When I've tried it, it's not. It's almost like a different tool. I'm not worrying about the stupid little things that it seemed to always happen when I was trying to pre-spray carpet. Now, to do this, you're going to need to get the stupid shroud off of here that serves no other purpose that I know of, other than to not allow you to get inside there. And the way I did that is I used a metal punch. Um, you know, before you you think anything else, I didn't use a use a hammer and just punch it off there. I had a metal punch that was roughly the same size as the two brass pins that hold it in place. And I just kind of used it and pushed the pins until they stood out the other side and just grab them pliers, pull it off. The shroud comes right off. And then that's where you will see this little guy sticking out. And there's two flat sides on it. So you can either get a wrench on there or a pair of pliers. And hopefully it'll come out easy for you. Um, mine came out fairly easy considering what I found afterwards with all the glue in it. And this is something I didn't share necessarily on the, the review video, but here it is, and hopefully the camera picks it up. This is kind of where the O-ring was glued. And it was glued so poorly that it was even glued stuck down into the thread on the one side. So that was kind of the problem. And what else isn't really might not show up in the video, these all these threads are covered in CA glue or super glue. So essentially you're gonna wanna get that out. Hopefully it comes out easy enough and just get rid of it because it's worthless and pointless, especially for a $200 plus tool. And um, go get yourself that pipe and thread it in there. Um, I didn't get any kind of uh, union or anything that had a hex nut in the middle. I wanted to at first, but um, the hardware store didn't have any in the size I needed, so I just got the straight pipe, which now I'm thinking it was probably a good idea because now it really kind of keeps you from over torquing it. Um, this as you screw it into the plastic because you got to remember you're going into plastic so this could easily be a well well over torqued going down in there so please use caution take your time there but that should solve a lot it solved a lot of the issues I've had as far as leaking and it's spraying better now one thing I have noticed long term too that I didn't mention in the review video is that the pressure sometimes is all over the place but I can look past that I guess because it seems to be working fine now. This should also um, keep your text from over tightening these tips if you have some text out there. Because with this on here, you're not going to be able to use um, 
the stock tips or jets they send with the sprayer. They're not going to fit under the quarter inch pipe, which is fine because those are garbage too, and might as well throw those away because they ever so slightly, like I said, will leak from the behind. And like I said, if you do have a, a tech out there, he's going to think it's loose and try to tighten it and mess up the threads, and then it, it's kind of shot. So with this way, if you can tighten yourself, put this together, send it out with your tech in the field if you have some, and you shouldn't have to worry about it. So no leak problem. The other thing I did look at, and I did get curious about, was uh, the back side of the swan where it joins up to uh, the spray gun itself. And I looked in there, and there is a gasket that sits there where it meets up and um so i like i said i was curious so i got a little pen light and shined it in there after i took it off and sure enough that gasket is also <laughs> glued in place from what i can tell because you can see some of the glue on the outside so hopefully that gasket never fails because that is probably going to be a pain to get out because probably going to want to come out in chunks there's no reason to even glue that in it should just kind of hold itself in place once you screw it in but whatever Whoever manufacturers this gun loves to use super glue and they for some reason think it's an acceptable way of holding things in place on a new product so either way i hope that helps some of you guys out that did purchase one of these and any kind of uh maybe modification of the end well if you can think of a different way probably perhaps a better way than i did it well it, it's not it feels like a different tool it doesn't leak all over the place and actually sprays pretty well so there you go. Whether or not that's worth a dollar a cup of coffee, don't know. But either way, guys, um, we'll see you on the forums.